wait a minute. What do you mean you have his scent? It means if I walk up to the same person, I'll be able to point them out. I'll know possibly exactly who they are. Or know that they're the person that pretty much, you know, tortured me and Kinshi. And are there any ways this could be used against you? Not gonna lie. Yes. How? I'm not telling you that. <laughs> Excuse me? Listen, Empress Money Grubber. Am I wrong? Whatever. So, just tell me uh, this. No. Whoever it is that is a part of the bad guys, they have a distinct smell. I can track that smell when they're close enough towards me. But, though there are complications that could come with that, at the end of the day, if I get a smell, you got the person. Mask or no mask. Well, it seems like you'll be a very good investment. Excuse me? Oh, yes. You are going to pay us back for it. Giving you safe lodgings or whatever. Safe? Um, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the people who are around you carry weapons for your safety. No, for your safety, in which we were sent to kill you. And yeah, I can just tell that they are not very open to us being particularly close to you. But then again, none of them could stop me. What? <laughs> Do you think when I was bending the bars of our little birdcage, that was the extent of my strength? Did you not see that beast clad in dark? Uh, yeah, that was, you know, so it's not like that anymore. Is you just showing off black whips? Wait, what? You wouldn't. Where I'm from? Where I'm from? I collecting from Gotham, combining them into something much more powerful. Explain. Do you really want to know? Yes. Okay. I'm going to be a volunteer. Uh, trying to someone to get hurt? No, not well. Mm, what like a raid? Really? Yep. You see. Black Whip is not just used for armor or such things as well, weapons, you know, but I can use it for that. But I combined part of it with another quirk of mine that I acquired over the years of my, uh, my hero career. <laughs> Please, explain. I won't volunteer. Them just pushing Kinshi in the way. 
Okay, you guys are just cold. Eh, you're trying to protect the boy. Chances are you are not going to try to hurt him. Okay, that's fair. Izuku pushes his hand on Kenshi's shoulder as Black Whip starts to envelop Kenshi. So as he takes off his hand, Kenshi starts to grow in muscle mass. Then wondering, what the hell did you just do? Uh, it's just a little bit of a enhancement. Excuse me. Can she? Bring me that, uh, one of those bars from the Marvel prison. Why? Just do it. But I, uh, trust me. <laughs> I I really want to make a statement here. He barely tugs on it before it just breaks. Everyone's looking in utter shock and wondering what the hell. Oh yeah. You see, I combine our black whip with another quirk called virus. What? Oh yeah. The well, thing is, I can control what that virus does. In fact, can she? Please. Start. Can you turn that uh that bar into a pretzel? Can she just start doing it with these? And then Izuku is like, now watch this. Just as Kenji is trying to bend it back, he can't. Then, Kenji, without even having to be told by Izuku, fixes it, puts it back, and walks straight towards them, sitting down like a good boy. Then, wondering, wait, how did he... I can control the virus, I can control what it does, and I am cyclically linked to it, as well as Black Whip. So his enhancement suit, I got full control over it. As you do, just take back Black Whip. All in attendance is shocked. First, Lashara is seeing dollar signs. He sees his nose this way. What? Hmm. So, what you're saying is you can turn people into glorified super soldiers who can, who will do whatever you command them to. You can weaken them, strengthen them, give them commands without even being there. Oh, and also, yes, uh, Black Whip can heal. At least the virus aspect can. What? Well, granted, if you get a limb cut off, it'll have to reattach it and, you know, then sew it together, then heal. Well, it does increase the healing factor. So it can't regrow limbs. Nope, you're going to need the actual limb that was severed. It's not that strong yet. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Did you say yet? Yes. So there's a chance that this could get stronger. Yep. Seriously, I've trained for years with these quirks. Even more so being nerfed, weakened, like I was. So you can only imagine. Oh, my God, there you go. I want you to know who it is. Excuse me? Yes, imagine 
a legion of super soldiers. That wait, what's the tool it takes on the user? What do you mean? How much energy does it use? Or at least take from the host? Well, none. Nani? Yeah, it doesn't take any energy. It just help. If anything, it just continues to. <laughs> I can't believe this. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Good lord, what have you? I am so happy to make your acquaintance, Mr. Izuku Midoriya. Mr. Midoriya, we talk business. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's obvious what you want. You, you want me to make more of these things, just so you can sell them, let alone bolster your own ranks. And even if your uh, allies decide to turn you, I can uh, shut them down. What? No! I just wanted to talk about your accommodations. I'm sure you don't want to go back to that uh, bird cage. Oh, you are so... Yes. Seriously, just you know what, whatever. Can we go now? I I'm <sighs> I'm a little tired. Hmm. Very well. But still, I want to talk about your role here. Okay, fine. For the very least, can she? It's time for us to go get some sleep. Okay. And as soon as they're gone, Kiaya is, of course, like, what the fuck? What, what have you invited onto the swan? Um, do you not realize the amount of coin we can make off of this one specimen? And do you not realize the dangers he poses here? He has proven that he does not need any assistance, he could take us all down very easily. He wouldn't. How can you be so sure? All he does is want to go home. If the bad guys give him a better deal. Um. Oh yeah, you just realized that, didn't you? Oh, well, I, uh, how did I, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes. Your fresh, rude behavior. He may decide to switch sides whenever it seems more convenient for him. Uh, well, he wouldn't do that with Kenshi around. He wouldn't have to. Huh? Who's to say he hasn't unleashed those, whatever he, those things are, and has them to one of us? Excuse me? Yes! We spent more than enough time with him to a point where he could have easily just plopped off a few here and there 
and we would not be the wiser. Huh. Yeah, so he would have to kill you or us. He would get us to do it ourselves. You heard him describe what he can do with that ability. He can actually, honest to God, control them. Just how he did Kenshi. The only thing is, he likes Kenshi and wouldn't hurt him or do anything to hurt him. But your behavior, he has no love for him. Do you realize that? Oh, okay. Yep. Good point. Yeah, I I might have been a little rash in my uh, words. Uh huh. How are you going to make it up to him? Excuse me. Come on, how are you going to make this better? Because I am not dying. A horrible. Must be gruesome death. All because you want to act all high and mighty. Do you think he be interested in. No. He ain't know what I was going to say. You were going to try to seduce him. Feel wounded. Do you think it will work? Oh no. Yeah. What? I don't think he's in, in anyone as young as you. Besides, you have nothing that will capture his attention. But what? Apparently, huh. he seems like he's. What? Almost. Around 18. And though, yes, things are different here. Where he's from, it seems like it may be frowned upon for him to take a bride so young. Huh. Yeah. He's not interested in anyone part of your age group. Duh. He got no how he was looking at my sister. Oh. Oh, I get what you're saying. No, it's not going to work either. Why do you say that? He's protecting himself and Kenshi from that vixen sister of mine. I think he would risk that poor boy's chastity, or possibly his own. Remember, just to go a few rounds with my sister. Huh. Well, what about... No, I'm not doing it either. How about what? No, see... Just listen to yourself. If anything, you should just try to be nice. Can you do that? Mm, yeah, but I kind of want to. Do you want him to turn against us? Because the fact that he had to be, uh, what's called it, uh, nerfed, weakened, and still made it here. That's right. Wolfie well, acquired his uh, little control buzzer. That would just make him have even less trust in us and more likely to destroy us. Yeah, okay, yeah, point. So what? What do we do? Find a way to hurry up and win this war. Okay, get easy. And get him and Kishi home. Because remember, it's all he wants. So yes, we don't have a way of doing that. But still, it's better than just threatening him or. Just using him to make money. 
but there's so much money that can be made. I suggest you talk to him. It's his power you're planning on borrowing. Hans. Huh. Man, you're right. Wouldn't it be just easier just to, you know, I don't think that would work. Seriously? You really think he won't? Of course not. Chances are he would definitely be able to tell if anyone tried to make a move against him. Huh. If anything, just playing nice might be our only true option. No. Oh. It's that bad, huh? Yeah, it, it is that bad. The amount of power is one kid. Uh, he, he's, he should be still around your age. Why are you calling him a kid? Because he has childish to look at. <sighs> so, what do you suggest? Just treat him nice. Treat him like he's a person, not a tool. Or a way to make quick money. He's not as naive as Kenshi. Not as trusting. Seems like he's been through a fair amount of dramatic experiences. Uh, yeah, you, you have a point. So, what, tomorrow I just try to be civil or something. That would be a great place to start. Next day, Izuku does notice okay, she's gone. Him freaking out and trying to th think, okay, where could this boy have wandered off to? Seeing that, yeah, he's been um, plant picking. So, yes, he does think it's great that the kid is so calm, given the situation. He's like, how are you so innocent? What the hell? But you... Universal Shower does have an idea. Make sure everyone knows who owns this motherfucker. Especially Izuku. Easier said than done, but ultimately, completely doable. Have them as our attendants. Let's make sure everyone knows they are property for the time being, and make sure no one knows about their true power. As far as the attendant goes, Izuku and Kenshi do feel violated for the very rigorous very thorough bath you were given but what really does piss off Izuku to an extent is he's given a collar as is Kenshi once he made to the Holy Land Izuku does catch a familiar smell. It's being Dagmire. In which the Shara does let it slip that oh yes, this one here has a brilliant sense of smell. To the point where he, if there's someone he's met or gotten at least close enough to, he can uh, remember the way they smell. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. If anything, it makes him a great cracker. Actually, actually, considering certain circumstances, if we are able to get something that my assailants at least had their, uh, on their person, chances are we could find them. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, 
You know what? Uh, let me, I gotta go. Just that he does catch a whiff of Dagmar before he leaves. Uh, huh. So he, he smells familiar. Yeah, uh, instantly just smacking outside the head. So, that's for Dagmar. Yes. So? Are you trying to say that? Hey, I just say he smells familiar. That means nothing. Wait a minute. That's one of the weaknesses for that ability, isn't it? Huh? <gasps> what are you talking about, Kayaya? Yes, he has a hand smell, but he can only do so much. Like, what's to stop someone for having the same perfume or cologne? As the assailant. So what you're saying is, your sense of smell might be useless if we overload. Oh yes, this is. Oh okay, now I can really. <clears throat> what? What was that you were saying about being nice? Oh, right. This KG is just being his adorable little animal as self. Yeah, and he's going to do scold him for being so reckless. Then I'm actually blushing over the fact that, oh, crap. This was not supposed to happen. However, when he goes straight to the arena, Izuku is very interested in the pillars as well. As, huh. Do you have to have a mech to use those facilities? Huh? Oh, no, not really. Hmm, what do you think, Kenshi? Uh, looks like pretty, it was pretty easy for me. I'd also too, but it'd be at least very fun. Uh, what? I mean, yeah. It seems like for noobs, it'd be very difficult to do such. What's a noob? Yeah, it's just like someone who's new to the whole thing. You know, what I count you as? Oh, please! Do you have any idea the kinds of people I've had to fight in even worse conditions? Huh? That is a very good point. But yeah, if anything, it seems like it would be interesting, though, at the very least. Thing to do, or at least try out. Eh, worst case scenario, I'll just destroy the pillars. <gasps> what? Yeah. Oh my goodness, you are crazy. There's no way you can destroy all those pillars at once. I can destroy a mountain if I want to. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Just looking at Kenshi, just nodding his head. That's what the, uh, disclosed his power to be able to do. At least, I'm using most of it. <laughs> Mouths? So that wouldn't even be, no, no. Um, no, not at all. Oh. Yeah, just looking at Empress of Shara. Like, <laughs> this, this, that sure doesn't even need a myth. Oh, you 
to kill all of us. If we piss him off. Oh, wait, and I'm not really helping our case, though, am I? Oh, oh, man, I... I could have banned this all just so easily. Her remembering... Hey. Can she? Yes? Uh, his little... Uh, you know... What, talking about this remote here? Him just waving it around. Yeah, he's just snatching it away. He's like, oh, noticing this. He's about to run right up to Yaya. Well, he turns it to its highest setting. He's like, oh, freezing at his tracks. <laughs> Well, I'll be damned. I did not think. Yep. <laughs> so that's how it is, huh? Mickey, this is how it is. Her placing it on the ground and stomping on it. Completely destroying it. He's just looking at this is pure shock. Kenshi, Lasara, what did you just do? Heck. He wouldn't hurt anyone. One of us he had to. And besides, he could have killed you. Nice. I never did. First of was our slave weapons. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Letters are. It's fine. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're trying to get you home. Last thing we needed for you to be worried you were going to get electrocuted by accident. Just a look of. Utter amazement on Izuku's face. Kinchi's pretty much the. See, they're nice people. <laughs> oh man, kid, you really just look for the good in everyone, don't you? Now everyone's a bad guy. Ugh. Yeah, you're right about that. Very well. Sugu holding out his hand, forming two spheres, and just tossing them to Kiaya. What's that? Eh, you know those things are pretty much you could say, just in case you do need uh, some help. Or, you know, I'm not around. So, wait, these are just place one on your chest or whatever. Just place it on your person. So she does, she gets wrapped in black whip. It is a skin tight body armor. Her looking at it, seeing that, yeah, it's a lot more. It is Tyze is looking, it is very comfortable. She's worried, like, you don't think this makes me look. Oh, hold on. Him making some adjustments towards it so it looks like her uniform. As she does, looking at all in amazement, then she does wonder, wait, should we really be doing this in public? Don't worry, no one's gonna really be paying attention. What makes you say that? Because Ken, she's gone. And wish yes. There's a towel. 
of students just gathered around Kinshi. He is being an adorable child, so they are definitely not paying attention to whatever the hell Princess the Empress is doing, let alone her other not so adorable attendant and Kiaya. Like, wait, but you gave me two of them. Yeah, let's just say that one's for whoever it is you trust enough to grant the ownership of. What? Yeah, I just say that's a spare. Never know when your ally's gonna need a bit of help. Wow, that's that's very nice of you. Yeah, if anything, I just don't want to have a you know an army of people using something like this. As though it would be useful to have. It's also very huh. I can't risk it one trying to replicate it. Oh. So you're saying yeah, as strong as I am, I can only do truly so much when it comes to this. At least it takes a lot on me to really craft something like that, especially when it comes to the type of virus I make or the symptoms of it. It can only do so much. Huh. So you really... Yeah. <laughs> what? What? As nice as this whole exchange between you two love words are... It's time for us to go. Ah! The... No, 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 please. Nia is not my... Exactly. Seriously, I wouldn't want to be with some muscle brown idiot like Izuku. Hmm. Oh. Oh, shot's fine, man. Hmm. It's only do arrive to see the headmaster. They do run to Maria and Yukine. They're very curious on Izuku and Kenshi's uh, involvement. When it comes to the whole uh, showing their undergarments, that still happens. The only thing is, Izuku, he does not want to answer. Can she already s said what he wanted? Or, I mean, which one he preferred. But Izuku, those aren't my, those are not my favorite colors. What? Please, explain. Well, I prefer uh, darker colors. Really? Like, uh... Please, explain. That's my preference, and that's all you need to know. Can she? Please. Don't get in between the fight. When it comes to two women, you are not going to win. Uh, what? <sighs> you can't even did the right thing. But trust me, don't don't ever choose between one or the other. Another one's only two women, because either way, you lose. Uh, uh, how would you... Him having a flashback to Ochako and Mina. 
trying to decide who was gonna be where in certain arrangements. Him just having terrible flashbacks, but also I kind of miss it. Yeah. And now, like it was the whole Messiah, or is it Messiah? Ish. Watching a duel, Izuku does look at it through kind of a kishi kind of lens, as well as his own analytical mind. So he already knows that that oh yeah, that poor girl's gonna lose. Kishi pretty much the yeah, there. There's no. Essentially, Wuhan is just pretty much toying with her. Then surprised, but also like, huh, they were right. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty obvious who was going to win. Do yeah. anything that's a common tactic. Oh, so you're a tactician. Yeah. Him sensing that Messiah is getting terrifyingly close, but also really, I have to protect the boy. Worst comes to worst, I will lay my life on the line, so to speak. Which luckily she doesn't try to jump them. But Izuku does get a sort of surprise when Kenshi is gone again. <sighs> now where in the world did he run off to? Seeing that he's been very animated on gathering some fruits, vegetables, mushrooms, and all the like, Izuku is more than happy to help him out. To the point where when they find a special mushroom, Izuku is able to find even more. Though yes, Kenji does have a unique sense of smell, Izuku is, of course, a lot more refined and enhanced. So you can find these mushrooms just like that. When they get uh, cornered, Izuku is ready to dispense with the kickings of the wolf ass. Or the cans of wolf ass, whichever one you prefer. But very soon, happy to realize he had the mushrooms that cost a fortune for us. Him pretty much. Really? A fortune? Oh, you probably should have kept your mouth shut. What? Yeah. Izuku trying to hike up the amount he could probably get off of this. However, he is looked at pretty, pretty upsetly at Kenji. He like, says, please, don't do this. Be nice. We're in their forest. At the very least, we need to do something to thank them for allowing us to do this. What? Yes. <laughs> but you, you're saying we don't sell them? Yes. Just give up. The mushrooms. Nani? Yes. But they said it's worth a fortune. Big brother. No. No, 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 don't call me that. Please? No, don't call me that. She saved my life. So did I. <laughs> brother? No. Stop calling me. 
Fine. Fine. Whatever. Yes. Yes, you, they, they can have them. Of course, the attendants are pretty much skipping away with the mushrooms Izuku and Kenji have found. Much to the dismay of Izuku, but much to the pleasure of Kenji. <sighs> Seriously. You, you were just too... too pure. For this world. Yeah. Uh, if anything, let's go. I'm I'm getting a little bit upset. He he had no idea how much we could have made up for that. Well, for them it's important. For us, we were just gonna eat it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. But next time I find a good amount of them, I am selling them at a discount. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Not make wanting to make money. But we we have to repay our kindness. <sighs> yeah. Damn it. So, can we uh, go now? Do, do we have to stay here right now? Can we just go go back? Sure. We do arrive at Mr. Dizzy. <laughs> so, oh. Looks like he's just sick. Oh, I have something perfect for an illness. What? As then Izuku gets a little whiff. Huh. Your smell is rather strange. What? Oh, oh, wait, uh, it must just be all this fresh air. Uh, no, of course not. Them, uh, more than happy to give them the medicine. Well, I promise is when Dimebow shows up and he's gonna get that smell again. There is more in time to get them the fuck out. So yeah, he's more likely going to say, get out of here before, before I decided to retaliate. But luckily, Izuku does keep an eye on them. Being very suspicious, especially considering their reactions to his uh, enhanced senses. Daimar learned about it and started to uh, vacate the premises. And Mr. Uh, Two Face, sure as hell, thought, okay, maybe I should, shouldn't be around this guy for too long. Especially considering Daimar really wanted at least Izuku to get. The hell out of there. When it comes to them talking with Yukine, Izuku does remind Kenshi, can't the, anyone know that we were part of that attack on Empress Lashara? If someone knows, chances are we are going to get killed. Or at least they're going to try to kill us. Oh. Yeah, you can't forget that fact. I know you want to look for the good in everyone, but sometimes that's not as easy. Hmm. Huh. Understood. Good boy. Now, let's get back to the... Hmm. Hmm. What is it? 
something doesn't feel right. Okay, I, uh, shows up and starts scolding them. He's a little pretty much reminding her that you're keeping him out of trouble. Be grateful. Okay, you knowing that he's the trouble, but still also very grateful. But then, Izuku feels a disturbance in his loins, I mean, in his spine. He senses danger of a different kind. Here's Messiah, and she is no trouble hugging up next to Izuku and Kenji. It's when the other girls start that old territorial. Where Izuku just is like, you know what, you just can hang around me. You did say she. Made a deal with you and everything, you know. Man, she's all yours. Was that you? Knowing easy if you just wanted to get rid of her. Oh, fine. Whatever, you just want to kill my fun? Fine. You can be like that. You're not going to be able to protect that boy forever. Or yourself. No one can resist all this. Is in her, of course, now mindset. You see what does? He got closer. I only see his uh, little brother. And yeah, though he does somehow, thanks to uh, T.I. Uh, being a little bit overly. Big sister esque. He does end up in for <laughs> the, the, the little uh, the pipes to the line head to uh, the bathhouse in which Versa Shara is bathing. When they try to explain it. Izuku is quick to point fingers at Kiaya because she's the one that did this all because Kishi wanted to do some excavation work. Though she didn't know about that before, Izuku sure has caught her on. Now, it's time for the ceremony. And this is where Izuku sees something very familiar. Yeah, he sees the dice, he sees the caves, he sees the bell. And him actually is a joke is that how all they're missing now are bunny ears. Or cat ears. Him looking in all shock as they whip him out and just crown them. What the hell? That was a joke. It's joking. I did not think that was. Sure, I was like, huh? It seems like you're more attuned to our customs than I anticipated. Him and Kenji both being like, "Oh my God, whoever was here before really were able to do whatever the hell they want." <sighs> Manetta will probably love it here. Him remembering that Manila actually did end up losing one of his uh, arms, as well as a uh, an eye during the war. <sighs> Can't be out of saying this, but I really miss that pervert. Despite his tendencies, him remembering. Oh, we do wonder what Mina showed him that one time when she had him strapped to that chair. Now that I think about it, he has really been a real perverse, at least open pervert since then. I wonder if it'll work on Messiah. But, uh, 
next day he comes and Izuku and Kenji are learned like okay time for y'all start working your asses off what yep time for y'all get working start making me my money I mean so you can uh, afford food and board you know what the hell what are you our pimp what's that <laughs> Nothing. It's nothing, Kenshi. Nothing for you to worry about. Seriously, are you serious? Of course! No, when it comes to food, me and Kenshi can just hunt for it. I mean, the forest is plentiful. Okay. I know he has the senses of a wild animal. I know he has the adorableness of a cute little animal, but it does not mean that you are one of the most great civilized and money is required for certain services. Explain. Say you were able to find a way home, but it cost you a bit of coin. Won't you won't you believe that uh it'll be imperative for you to have send money to afford the service in which you can get home if it was available. Izuku and Kenji she makes a good point. You can't deny that. So they're all gun ho about getting jobs. And though Izuku is not as good as Kenji when it comes to the whole house labor type thing, he is good at cooking as well as construction and demolition. Huh, thank you, Bakugo. When it comes to tea ceremonies or anything that will require judging or etiquette, he also thanks Momo. Even though she's lost a lot during the war, she's still following means a way to have a brave face and a hint of elegance. Thanks, Bakugo, for teaching me how to destroy things so effectively. You too, Kirishima. Him remembering all his friends that are on Earth. He's gotten even more determined to find a way back. So, thanks to this determination and Kenji's very much naivete, they start racking up a lot of coin. Much to the delight of Mr. Shara. Even though, yes, he does have a, a few worrisome thoughts. Kenji and Izuku both know we have to find a way home quickly. Kenji misses his family, and Izuku still has a war to fight. In fact, he's still trying to figure out the perfect combination of quirks in which he could possibly find a way back, if he can. But, at the very least, we might as well do a little bit of work while he's here. Might as well make some money. Especially when it comes to possibly acquiring a, a few mushrooms or whatnot. Don't worry, guys. I'll be home. Eventually.